Nabaka Ephraim is another thing too. What do a man get? What men get is that they get worldly women that are equipped and encouraged by the culture to compete, to argue, to nag, and to battle against them for supremacy in every area. No. You see, they're training you now. Because what a man wants is different from what he gets. But the Bible says, every kingdom that is divided against itself shall not stand. And every city or house divided will fall. Once you have a, two people in a house competing, that house can stand. God, <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'll finish this. Told Eve after the fall. There is a scripture that I can't reconcile. And I read different, different versions to help me reconcile. Genesis 3 and verse 16. Genesis 3 and verse 16. After the fall, something happened. Genesis 3 and verse 16. Kabani mana dalla. Genesis 3 and verse 16. If you can reconcile, I will. And unto the woman he said, I will greatly multiply your sorrow, and in thy in conception in sorrow, thou shalt bring forth children. And this is my confusion. And your desire shall be to thy husband and this is my greatest confusion and he shall if you can't define it there is a problem rule over thee living bible said you shall welcome your husband's affection and he shall be your master i don't like this, this is the type of bible verse that i want them to disappear it should not be New Living Translations, this is what it says. Because I tend to go with New Living Translation because it actually being said that. And you will desire to control him. But he will rule over you. And that's what we see in the home. Because now what a woman wants is that she wants to control the man in her life. You are sick if you make a man a eunuch. He's supposed to be a king. So a woman wants to desire so that kaza una nkana kaza ina kaje me asaba ga ga mumba ya kana da yozu me me what wrong with you kai kaje ne miji ne mutu ne agira na kada kada kul kul kada kul kul kada kuskura kul Now the king says that there's something that cannot work why because when you come for a family to work and you desire to control the man that home will fall and it will fall badly it can't work once a man's word is not supreme in his house you are losing that man and you are losing a home once you are excited that's why you don't know. I could watch the tenor respecting Nashi and he is there always. Because a man will go to any place where his words are respected. Regardless of what women do, women in general can never rule men how do i know scripture niba na village bani 
And this scripture was enacted before culture came forth. So we're not talking about culture. And I'm not talking about wilderness men. I'm talking about kingdom men. Because kingdom men knows what to do with the power that is given on them. You can successfully run the man out of your home. But this man can never be ruled by you. Do whatever you want to do. The highest is that he walks away. Why? It is in a man's original nature to rule, to give battle cry, to dominate and to conquer. It's built up in him. He didn't beg for it. It's wired in him. These are tools that God gave the man to conquer and dominate the, the earth. And so when you hear women, they say that, I, I, why do I have such a hard time dealing with my husband? It's because the man is a warrior. He's wired. That's who he is. Once you come against what he is, you want to reduce him. That's why I'm doing now. These are my pastors. Immediately I come. Nadubeshi, Nazagish, Nazagish, Nabugashi. There is something that is weird in him. I quite test, test on the touch. It's built in him to fight any aggression that is rising. It's built in him to provide anywhere he sees lack. He's a warrior. So what God does is this. With all the warrior instincts and the power, he gave kingdom women a perfect weapon to totally disarm all of his masculine weapon. And so how does a woman deal with a man? Quietly. Woman that knows the secret of that weapon, the man will come. Many other you don't know what other just, just. So, Kagama. Kagama, you don't need to so called you a level mark and you who are quiet. That a dog you are nankatum, that a jigaj, that a kawash is a hananta. Why? Because you are sick. God that made the man knows where you can hit him. And he told you, and you say, I don't want him. So, don't. Once you come, he concludes you are like a man. And something in him will rise up. If he's not controlled by the spirit, he will treat you like a man. Because he's a warrior. Why? Because you left what God gave you as a weapon. You carried what women movement told you. The devil is a liar. Kintashi, but bagida. Kintashi, yatefi. Kintashi, because a man once in the end of the human school is present and walk out. When he walks out, you lose him. If he has a place to go, he never returns. Come on, put your hands together. Are you ready for families? So I have another one. I say I need to buy my bronzer. Dubai, Kiki, na kuka de dere. You're frustrated. Buy hanu around ki. Kin come and Mickey Mouse. Kin a hugging. Hug your husband now. Yeah, Tefi. Don't kin nuna mi shike ma ke ma ke ni. Me ne kanaga kama me ne kanaga de shi de bande shi. The power of 
of a woman is in the consciousness of her God. A kingdom woman knows who she is and she is a quiet beauty and can calm the wildest beast in any man. Quietly. And then she go back. But there is one quiet spirit that holds it. And he so trusts her because that he must say, Kirikiba Muguntaba. And his heart does trust in her. Because she struck the giant in him and pushed him to provide and fulfill his purpose on earth. A wise woman, a kingdom woman knows there are certain ways she can stroke a man and speak into his heart that will always allow God to bring peace in the sin. A kingdom woman, a wise woman knows how to deal with a man in a non-confrontational quietness. And he will always say, Mama, you are good. But send me a shit, okay? That's a man. How did she bring him there? A quiet, meek, and a quiet spirit. Because it is the tool that God personally plants in a kingdom woman to help them build up the Kingdom men to quietness. Let I'm going to show you. Moses was not, Samson was not going to Delilah because of sex. If it was because of sex, why did he sleep just like that? No, there was a peace he gets there. And if you don't know, he was already married. There is an environment and an atmosphere. The mistake was, it was a wrong place. But there was quietness that brought him to his knees that made him lose his hair. Many women are trying to fight a flesh war when God did not tell them to do that. Where did you learn it? Movies. Where did you learn it? TikTok. Where did you learn it? The problem is not the conflict. Hey! The problem is the method that is used to handle the issue. Because conflict will always be there. Proverbs said that a quiet answer turns away every anger. That's the weapon that every woman has. Come and put your hands together if you understand. The worst thing a woman can do is get in a man's face as if she is a man. Everything that is in his mental, physical, and hormonal makeup will rise up. Because at that point, he is not seeing a woman. He's seen a threat. In Genesis, God gave women, you see, you don't win a man by volume, by argument, and by proving a point. You all have it. Above his, you have the volume. Katapa ni katapa utayo. Sikageni. 
But we can be a sub of your enemy is not the man. Genesis told you that's why the devil greatest fear is a woman that knows who she is. And when a woman doesn't know who she is, she will turn the weapon that she has towards the man. So Genesis, you know, 2, from verse 15, God told, told us. God gave Adam instruction. There are a few things that God gave Adam, and I'm going to help you, and then I'm going to close. He gave four things. The first is that he gave him instruction to tend. He gave him instruction for proper use. He gave him instruction for divine order, and then he gave him instruction for prohibition of the garden. If you're seated beside, beside a man, look at a man and say, cultivate me, cultivate me, cultivate me. No, if you're seated beside a man, and if you're a woman, say, cultivate me, baby, cultivate me, baby. Come on, talk to me. Yeah, I am going to say, I am say, cultivate me, baby. Cultivate me, baby. A real man always makes anything in his presence better. He never takes a young lady and reduces her value. So when you, she comes to your house, she doesn't leave pregnant. She leaves edified because you are a man of God. He is wired to bring order proper. He is wired to protect. And a husband and a man is wired to provide. Anytime a woman declared independence to a man or her husband, she cuts him at a place that he can never recover. That's why no matter how much money you have, don't tell him I don't need you. No, dump it in his account. Why? I am called to help you so that he can tender and tend for you well. Because he's wired in a man to cultivate anything. So he said, once you understand this, it's a great work. You can't do it alone. Adam, I'm going to bring somebody that can help you as you perform your duty. Then he fashioned a woman and her hundred percent wary is to help. And helpers are not threat and they don't take over. So your degree is so that you can help. Your PhD is so that you can help. Your car is so that you can help. Your business is so that you can help. Your billion is so that you can help. It is not so that you can declare independence from him. Because God didn't give you that instruction. So he shouldn't feel threatened. And the Lord God took the man, put him in a garden, dress it. If you are not married, check what the man does with you. Dress it. Let's go. Fast, quick. Let's go. Next verse. Quick. Move. I'm closing my time. Are you happy here in church? But the tree no longer without prohibition. Quick, let's go. 18 last verse. And the Lord God said, it is not good. I will make, watch. I'm going to make you an aggressor. I'm going to make you an adversary. I'm going to make you a competitor. I'm going to make you, when did that uh, arrange in Naka? Why are you sick? Some of you are in Gamma, Mamana, Mamana, and Mamana Tausta are in Adana, Adana, arranging Nashi. 
anke li fata ngam adana nadana tazo nam bazai kiyo ba fa kai ma kasan mamana fa in mamana tazo bazai kiyo ba that's the order in the kingdom it has nothing to do with culture because culture has not yet been in existence all that you have acquired all that you have achieved is good but you were created to help me so that we can fulfill the kingdom every man is designed by god to tend every man is designed by god to take care of god's heritage that's why you are an animal if you slap a woman because that's not tending that's demonism when you tend you make her blossom when you tend you make her better you don't tear her with your words you make her rise up like a peacock stretch her colors and say that's by god go baby go you don't get excited when she's shaking in your front No, a real man raises the confidence of her wife of his wife and a woman he makes her and push her to go achieve why because her achievement is for his help he's so afraid well no 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 he has pumped her with so much confidence and she knows who she is when she enters into a room she dazzles baby she dazzles say that that's my god because he knows that she is wired to him he can hurt her she knows no man is supposed to crush anything in his presence if things die in your presence that's why you are a young man you don't impregnate a woman you are sick you don't reduce her to rule her you are not normal if your wife is threatened in your front ki ankali va ki ankali no that's a that's a wilderness man talk zam patan zan yaga miki chuna fa zan yaga that's a that's a useless man talking kada ki sa haushin baba ne zo fada ja am i talking come and put your hands together my time is up every godly, godly man have the instinct of the garden if a woman is independent and unwise then the man will feel driven to find somebody else to tend So if you make him not to take care of you he's wired to take care of something so he will find somebody that's why he has somebody ya biya mata rent ya say moto mota why because catch a cultivate me baby cultivate me ke kuma kin say ni na mi ji ba dai taba ha ni me ne na de shi ba shi ya na de shi ban da shi so ya say moto kin say moto ya vroom kin you vroom ya screech kin you screech ya ta ta but he's wired to ten say akwa wata karama agwadabawa that is another zwa it is making us a fridge ga fridge say now go there so another zwa take you and kina number key of a gas toilet now go there so another zwa why because she knows how to bring the tending power that is in the inside and i'm not talking about kingdom men kingdom men can't do that kingdom men will suck it up and trust god to change the whole no man that is in his right sense will leave his wife and never tend it if she has turned help work it a woman flourish in the environment that you create that's why she is nothing but an incubator so if you are seeing hell is because you sowed fire because nothing that a woman takes and give you the same in kakao alay hoza baka mia if you give sperm za baka baby if you give her a word that baka sentence if you give her fire she will give you hell so a right man knows that she is an incubator and he tends her and you give her something good you know that your tomorrow is better why because she is wired to help you men who don't feel needed or respected 
began to disintegrate from the inside out once they don't know who they are in Christ. If you see a man standing that is disrespected by a wife, if he's standing, it's because he has met God. If not, there is only one person on earth, not even the devil, one person who can kill a man's spirit. One. And that is the woman that is in the life of the man. Wawa irinka. Not even the devil can kill a man but a woman. Why? When God made her, he put a certain power in her tongue. Why? He put that power because he made the devil her adversary, not the man. Look at. And I will put enmity between you. That's the woman. And the devil, the word enmity is adversary. That's why when you meet a woman that knows who she is, she stands in the place of prayer, she brings the kingdom of the devil down because there is power in her mouth. So when she takes that power and turns her husband into an adversary, he can't handle that weapon. It brings him down. A kingdom man wants to hook up with a genuine kingdom woman that understands quietness. So when you meet a smart woman that doesn't have wisdom, doesn't understand what she possesses, she doesn't know that she has so much artillery in her spirit that what she says goes straight into the man's heart. That's why when you meet men, they are wounded by the words that came out from the mouth of a woman that is close to them. There is a hissing that a man can go to the grave with it. There is a hissing that a man can just say, Crotter, you are. And she calls him Lord. Why did the Bible say that? Sarah is not fit to be called Lord. Because out of Kwadayi, he needed food. He took the wife. Say, cool. And he sent her for a man to sleep with her. That's not an honorable man. So, in Namijiki, Banas already know if he is stupid, God will fight for you. Don't stand in the place of fight. So when the king stepped in to take her, God stepped in. Why did, the, why did God appear? Because of her obedience. Look, so when she came out, look at what she did. She met her husband and she calls him Lord. Who among you can do that? That's the weapon of a quiet and a mixed spirit. And she brought Abraham to eat in her hands. No wonder she opened heavens and every delay was turned into progress. Who among you will do that? And he will turn. And he will go. So he walks in late. Nobody in this life can bring a man to his knee but the word of a woman. If the word of a woman can bring a man to his knees, the words of a woman can lift a man and bring the king in the inside of him. 
and she can use the, her word. We can have a good home and a family. So now you know what the man wants. It's not sex. If it is sex, he won't leave. He wants a kingdom woman. And as we move through this, we're trusting God to raise women that are not manipulated by anything on the outside. Women that will go to the word of God and pick up the manufacturer's manual. It looks as if you are foolish, but you are not foolish, you are wise. Women that are not competing with nobody, but they know that they are wired to help the man establish the kingdom of God on earth as it is in the heaven. I know the reason why you're quiet is because anything that I said is contrary to everything that you have learned from the world. But we are not of the world. Come on, put your hands together. I said, come on, put your hands together. I said, come on, put your hands together. If you're a man and you're in a relationship, the girl must be better in her mind, in her soul, and in her body. You don't reduce her, you build her, you tend, you cultivate, you speak, you raise her up, you guard and you protect her. You don't wound her. And if you're a husband, every woman should be able to lie down in a home that is filled with love and comfort. And now may the Lord bless you. going to get a little bit deeper gather everybody bring them to church how many of you know that the whole city needs to hear this message how many of you believe that the whole city needs to hear this message bring people because we are reclaiming our families we're going to take the holy communion this holy communion because it is a family month this blood is going right into your body, but it's also going to the lintels of your house. So that when the dead angel sees the blood, it's going to pass over. We're going to speak prosperity into the hand of every man in this place. We're going to speak prosperity into the hand of every helper, every woman, lady in this place. You need to rise up based on the equipment you have. You need resources to carry on with your assignment. Every sick body is going to be healed. I want you to put your hand on your head and declare, I am a kingdom man. If you're a woman, say I'm a kingdom woman. Come on, say it. I'm a kingdom man. I'm equipped with everything I need to bring the kingdom of God on earth as it is in heaven. Amen. Thank you.